Hey, what up, y'all? So this is one of them videos that I've thought about making for a while, but I never really did it. So let's go ahead and do it. This is one where since I, I've been doing uh, manga, comics, whatever you want to call it, whatever you like to call it for a while now, I've been doing it for a while now. And one of the things that kept me rolling and has given me a good amount of success is mailing list. Yep. <laughs> I didn't think. I'm trying to slow down to not do my usual ranting so I don't uh, throw you off of what I'm talking about. And I want to be a little bit more precise. When I started, I started with uh, Boy Beast 1. It was an ebook. It was in, um, I put it on Amazon and stuff. And it was, I was finding places where I could put it and everything. But I didn't fully understand what I was doing. And I see a lot of creators start off like this. Like, start off where they're trying to get their book out to people they try to put it on social media then they get mad at everybody on social media <laughs> the people that are supposedly their friends on social media they're like they don't good it's just this is the worst and so and that's understandable there's more ways to do it social media is nice but a lot of people don't want to be um marketed to when it comes to certain things they'd much rather argue <laughs> and see you say some crazy stuff than have you market to them they can say that they can say the opposite all they want but as a creator you know when you put something out most of those people don't pay attention to you but when you put something out and it's contrary to what they believe it's something they don't agree with they hop out and they have everything to say and that's mainly because that's just human nature you can put a bunch of stuff that people don't agree with and they always will come to, to correct you that's one way to get traction do things on purpose that they don't like or that you know you're wrong they'll hop out to correct you and give you direction you can know that you're wrong and know the correct answer it's gonna tell you anyway they just feel the need to correct it's part of the game it's part of human nature but that's not what we're talking about we're talking about building mailing lists and that's what i'm here to talk about building your mailing list is extremely important because going back to the social media thing also there's a lot of things on social media that happen where they go down you can't get in they block you all of this stuff one of the easiest ways for me to solve that is having your own mailing list. I learned a lot of this mailing list stuff or newsletter uh, stuff from ebook publishers, self publishers that do ebooks. If you want to really understand how to get traction and get attention for your um, manga and comics and stuff, go look at the people that just do regular books. And we, I'm gonna go into that, to just do regular novels. It can be romance novels, it can be sci-fi, it can be any of that. Those people, are beasts when it comes to marketing and getting their books to people some of them you never even know that they do it you never even know that they do it because their main thing is let me get a bunch of people on my newsletter or my email list and then i just communicate through there social media they'll say some of the craziest stuff and some of them will post their books here and there and it gets no traction but the main thing is let me get this newsletter so i would listen to them i would listen to how they did it and they would talk about swaps and they would talk about different uh websites to go to and so then i would just kind of look at it and go through that and then uh one of the people that i really got up with was russell nolte and he helped me out a lot when it came to building um newsletters so before i even did the comic book i did that i would read i read his stuff and figured out how to build a newsletter and since i had the ebook avoid beast that had no pictures it was up on amazon I would just give it away for free. That's another thing. Like, give your books away for free. It's okay. It's okay. Because it'll pay off later on. And I did a lot of that where I would go to these sites and things and I would give it away for free. And I'll show you that too. I'll, I'll show you that where I where I did that at. Um, And I would give it away for free. And then you just, for a few months, and then I built up a mailing list. And these are people that read. Another thing is, these are people that read. These aren't people you're brow beating into looking at your story. These aren't people that you're, hey, you need to read my stuff. Please, 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 please. It's, not, it's none of that. It's none of that. Please look at my book. I, I got the book. Why don't y'all look? It's none of that. These are people that want to read. And that's the thing that you really need to go for. I say, I've said it before in other videos. I've said it on blogs with my people and everything, but really go for people that want to read, that want to read. There are people out here that do nothing but read books. Like you may not believe it. You may think social media, they, they will read it on the phone. They will read it 
physically, all they do is read books. Now it's different genres, but the people that read, they read everything. There's some overlap with certain things. Then there's then there's no overlap. Some of them be like, ah, it's a comic book. I'm not reading that. But there's a lot of people that just read. So if you're a creator, even a manga, whatever creator, you can write blogs, you can write short stories, you can do whatever real quick, get them into that, and then let them know about your other stuff. There's a bunch of different things you can do. But my thing that, that has helped me for um, examples, this is my um, Kickstarter. All of this is my Kickstarter stuff. I don't know which way I'm pointing. <laughs> I don't know which way I put it, but I ain't got it pointing. It's on the screen. This is all of my Kickstarters. Uh, my first one was Void Beast down here. This was my first one. This was my very first one. And all of them, and this mainly came from people that were my um, on my email list. And there were people on social media from Facebook. The two that do the best for me is Facebook and my email list. And to this day, it's still mainly my email list. And then, because a lot of people that are on my email list are on my Facebook page too. And I've and I get rid of, I manage my email list a lot to where I, I get rid of certain things and then I keep up. But um, I'm showing you this to show that all of this, all of these are from me having a mailing list and, and having those people that I can always get in contact with. And I can always update them, do my mailing list, always that way. And then even you can, and for those that haven't ran a Kickstarter, you can also um, like at the end, ask them, do they want to sign up to, to your mailing list? And then you just go from there and they can say yes or no. And you add them to your mailing list. That's, this one was pretty cool. These two were really good. I like how these two came out. These two came out pretty good. But the main thing again was my mailing list. It was my mailing list, me being able to, get directly with people because again for me this is just me i'm telling you how it worked for me i don't care about at the moment i'm learning some new things but i don't care about what somebody else did or this person did that's them that's how they did it i'm just trying to tell you how i've been able to stay afloat and i'm nowhere near like good as some of the other people none of these have been over i think like five six thousand dollars but that hey i still get what i get and I've had my successes, so I run with it and I keep going with them. So yeah, that is what it is. One of the ways, so here, so let's get into the ways in which we do building mailing lists. You can go on to MailChimp, you can go on to Email Octop Octopus, you can do a few different things and you set up free mailing lists with but you can only have so many people. It might be 500 people, it might be 600 people. I'm not gonna go through all that. If y'all really want me to, you can leave a comment and I can, go through and break some of that stuff down but i'm not doing all that right now <laughs> so you can go to uh uh mailchimp and stuff and you can do that set it up and you can they'll give you a um like a, a um a sign up page and everything or if you got um you can go to google docs and they can give you a sign up page you can put name email list whatever you're going to give away for free and then throw that up there for uh people to sign up for so you want to have something like i said before you want to have a freebie or something that you can give away. Mine was my ebook, my Void Beast ebook. Cause I've done it a few times. I'm trying to remember which one I did what uh, was my Void Beast ebook. That I gave that away for free, and then I would go to the sites and the different things, and I would tell people it was free and everything. So I had the ebook, and then I would do a couple of them after, and then it would lead to the comic book, which was this first one, which was this one that I ended up doing the Kickstarter for and everything. So it led to that, but. You might say, well, Matthew, how do you find the people? And it was a -da 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 -da. One of the first things that I learned was doing email swaps. That was where you go to a particular newsletter, newsletter swaps. You go to a particular person, you have an email list, they have an email list. You say, I have this many, or you be honest and say, I don't have anybody, but I'm trying to build it. And you can go and you can either pay or you can swap. So swapping is where you guys both have an established email list or newsletter, you share, you share content. You say, hey, this person you share, I'll take my stuff and I'll say here, share my Void Beast Kickstarter or my book, give it away for free to them. You give me your book and I'll give it away for free to my list. The people will sign up on that list and then you can sign up on the other person's list. For those that are on social media, we can go here. So this is one of them, Newsletter Swap Heaven, Haven, whatever. This is where you can cross promote. It talks about the genres, it talks about all that. So you go to these type of groups 
even in the main post. This group is for authors to cross promote their books through newsletter swaps only. So you go in there, you see who's swapping what, if it has the type of genre that you want, and you say, yes, I will do it. And you talk to the people and you swap and you uh, exchange email lists. So that's, that's, that's one way. Usually they like to have a number of subscribers and have a couple of people on their list, but that's how that usually goes. Let's see, let me see if there's another one. I'm doing a lot of these. Some of them are a little bit more active than others, but it's usually cool. So there's people in here looking at uh, the books, all that stuff. This is one of like, this is one of the ones, book builder signups. Those are usually decent, but this one, some of them you have to pay for. And it's like storyteller, publishers, 22%, blah, blah, blah. Best thing about this book club is that it will alert your fans when you have new releases, when you get to, yeah, 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 we're going to go to that. Call to sign up is free. Da, 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 da. That's the next one I'm going to go into. Not necessarily book club. I haven't had any success with them, but it is what it is. But yeah, you'll sign up for it. And then you'll give your you'll give your book. You'll tell them what genre it is. And you can put you can actually put comics and manga up there too. So no, it's not just, and I'm gonna get to that. It's not just ebooks, um, fantasy or romance books. It's not just that. You can get it to you can do it with all type of books. Because people are either gonna download it and read it or they're not. Newsletter swapping, you go in there, you say, Yes, I have romance or a horror book or a thriller book, you swap it. You say, hey, here's my link to whatever I'm going to do. And, and a lot of these places will walk you through it. You'll, you'll have your link to what you're going to, to where you're going to have them sign up to get the book. They put it on their email, email list. You put it on yours. You share it. Everybody gets a thing, right? That's one way to do it. Now, um, the one that I've been using most recently to help me find people is Book Funnel. You can probably see it up there creeping around. Book Funnel. Now, this one is... This one is interesting. I believe you have to pay for it. <laughs> uh, I believe you have to pay for it. I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't done it. Let me see. Let me see. Man, so let's say like for first time authors, uh, they have different stuff. So it might be $30 a month. Might be $100. Uh, I don't think I got it like that. I, I think I probably got the most basic. Might be 30 if that. But either way, you can go up there. You can figure it out. I'm just kind of throwing this stuff out there. I don't, like I said, I don't usually make stuff like this. Um, not because I'm trying to hide it, but it's just that I don't. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to show, I wanted to show this because this was a thing where a lot of creators don't have email lists together. They don't have nobody that they have for backup because you can do all the social media stuff. And this is me ranting. This is, this is what I do. Uh, this is me just doing my, doing what I usually do. Um, so you can have social media people and everything, but if you don't have a way to really contact those people and a good amount of people to let them know what's going on, then it's going to mess you up. It's going to mess you up horribly because you don't have no backup and you, and you're relying on social media. And that is not, that is not the way because most people already don't see your stuff. Most people already don't see it. And even if they do see it, they're not trying to look at that. You know how it is on social media. They might have they might have seen something like right now is election time. They may have seen some mess in an election to just frustrate them on social media. So then they're looking for posts to just go through and shame and or agree with and stuff. They can bypass everything. And unless it was something that's really, really gonna grab their attention, it's there's no way, there's no way you breaking through any of that. But if you have an email, you can get to these people directly. Don't just jump in and be like, hey, these people, I'm going to find this. And don't rely on other people. I understand y'all want to be with crews and groups and all this other stuff. But make sure that you bring something to the table. I'm not saying that anybody's going to do you wrong or nothing. But always make sure that you have something to bring to the table. And it's, if it's a thing where I'm just going to do my stuff and I'm going to let other people figure that out. It's all well and good. But later on, you're going to complain about it. And you're not going to like what they do with your creation. It always, it usually happens, especially at the levels we're at, especially at the levels we're at. It always happens. I fully believe in, I see it so much and it's not, it's not that hard. The main thing is find people, get an email list, not people just on social media. You're not, you're not looking at them because that's a, that's small. That's a little microcosm to where you're seeing these same people and you're watching them. No, you're trying to get to other people. So let's get back to that. Book Funnel was the one I, I've been, um, messing with a lot 
So what you do on BookFunnel is you put your books up and this one says it has 60 downloads, right? This is my um, comic Souls of Chaos, well, my manga Souls of Chaos. And I haven't shared it a lot, but let me show you. So they have certain, first off, let me show, let me see. I don't really go on this on, on desktop, so my apologies. Okay, so I haven't done this one a lot. I wasn't sure how it was gonna work. I've probably done it three times, three times. So it'll show 112 readers have claimed this, this offer. So these are 104 confirmed, so it'll show right here. These readers have confirmed their email address and have consented to be on your mailing list. They can be treated as new subscribers. So that's 107 people that have uh, downloaded the book. Now, if they read it, that's different, but they've downloaded. They looked at it and be like, you know what? I'm going to download that book. I have eight unconfirmed ones. So you put your book up here and you give it to people and they read it and they look at it. And then you take, you export that list onto your email list. You put it on in your MailChimp or whatever. You put it in there. So that's 112 people that know about your book, that know your name and know what you do. Then you talk to them and you say, hey, I'm so-and-so. You read my book on da 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 Well, here's what I got going on, blah, 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 blah. And I have more stuff. And this is not me saying, let me tell you something. This is not me telling you that you're going to do this and then all 112 people are just going to like it and be like, hey, we love what you do. We're going to buy and we're going to, no, that's not going to happen. So I'm not going to lie to you. Be like, that's what's going to happen. It's not but they've read your book and then they're willing to read it. They gave you their email address and that means they're willing to keep dealing with you. So you can put out, a, if you just put out free stuff, you can put out another free book, you can put out a free print or whatever form to where they're reading and they're getting to know more about you and stuff. And then that's when you send them your other stuff too. There's that. And then this one right here was like, my my test that was my test like romance book set in the void beast universe didn't do too much with that one i didn't i couldn't keep going on with that one because it wasn't something i really wanted to do it has like 371 downloads and some other stuff and i think that's the individual number like the individual number of people that download it because you can put up like a like a page let me show you you can put up a, a up here you can put up landing style page yeah you can you can put up like a landing style page here and the people that are here to read they'll come through and just be like hey let me get that book there's that too but what you do is you go they have they have group promos so we'll look at one so newsletter so it's, it says type newsletter starts august 11th ends september 11th there's 22 entries and it's called fantasy fever so let's see what fantasy by luna fox the genre is all in fantasy so we go in there we look at it we say the free book giveaway to join so you gotta have a free book so if your manga comic or anything fits into that you throw it in there two bucks for a pin name ba 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 it's not allowed sexually subjective books no erotica gotta have a full book no chapters or excerpts but I still like the manga and the comics is still a full book. So I just throw I just throw that I just throw that in there. Or if you got a full thing, throw it in there or whatever the case may be. Because they look at it. Because they watch it. So they'll look at it and they'll they review the books, see what, what the book is about. And if it doesn't fit what they want, they'll just tell you they can't have it. And it's, so it's cool. So it's like they'll be like, eh, nah, we can't have that. It doesn't fit our criteria. So we're going to take it off, but then other people may take it. So then you see the participating authors in it. There's a bunch of people that do other books and stuff like that. But yeah, and then you, and then when it goes live, you, they give you a link. So it says must have shared date at least a week before the end of the promo. So what you, what they do is when it's time to go live, they'll send you a link to share this newsletter and it'll say, Hey, we got all these people on this newsletter. Why don't you try? these books so you'll put the newsletter out and it's a special link that's unique to each person so they know who's doing what and who's sharing because they track if you're sharing or not and so when you share it you put it out they'll see that you get clicks or link uh clicks on it or not and they can tell if you've shared it by just seeing who looks at it and all and opens and stuff like that so when they do that 
this is what all these 22 people are doing. So some people have smaller lists, some people have bigger lists. So all these different people on all these different lists are always getting these free books. And there's people that read books, you'll be surprised at how many people that just read books sign up to these because they get a bunch of free books and they read through them. They just be knocking them out. Another thing is you'll be surprised that a lot of these are people are very varying different ages and races and everything and they and they are always reading i when i used to deliver one of my side businesses was i would deliver oxygen to people so i would go to young people older people and everything and a lot of them would read and they would buy books and stuff they just have a house full of books one few of them would have a bunch of books on their shelf but then they have their ipads and their phones and they're still reading <laughs> they're still reading the digital stuff so there are people out here that just read. They just read. They like don't let the internet fool you. Don't let it it'll fool you. You do this, you do the giveaway, it ends at a it starts at a specific date and it ends at a specific date. And this is how you get the people. So the people are, are sign up to it. After that, you'll get all the people that are pop, that'll pop up on where I showed you before where my book had like 100 and seven people or 108 people or whatever, 112 people. You'll have you'll have them signing up to your uh, newsletter that way. And then you just export it and you put it wherever you want to. That's one of, these are two of the quickest ways to do it. And again, it works, I showed you, it works with manga and comics and everything and stuff too. It works with all of that. My Souls of Chaos book is, it's not a novel, it's a comic book. It's a it's a manga, it's, it's black and white. Um, it's the norm for manga and such it'll work with this some of you may not like it some of you may not agree with it, but you don't have to fuss around with social media stuff here you do not have to fuss around with social media stuff you don't have to hey you have to look at it. i'm not saying don't do it but what i am saying is that it's good to have those people right there with you where you can consistently get to them and you ain't got to do all the dancing around and this and that and talking to folks and I made this video, but nobody ain't connected to it, all that stuff. This is one of the ways that a lot of the people that you see selling like those novels and stuff on Amazon and stuff like that, this is what they do. And they are on it. They are on top of it. And so, but go on, go online. If you don't trust me, go online, like on YouTube and look up how self-publishing authors build their mailing list. Go on there and look at them, study them that are just selling, that are selling sci-fi, young adult fantasy, romance study how they do it because they're selling 99 cent 199 299 books and just knocking it out the park so go study them if i'm not the best if what i'm saying here don't make sense or you can ask me you can send me messages and ask me and stuff too and i can go a little bit more into what you're doing because for me a lot of a lot of this general stuff it don't work with me so people will talk to me about stuff if it's not what i do and it doesn't and it's not something that i can grasp with how i do things in life it, sometimes it doesn't work so if you need to message me or something, you can you can do that. But I would say go look at these self-publishing authors, especially if that's the way you want to do it. Go look at them on YouTube and stuff and they will break it down. So again, my I don't usually do this, so I'm a little all over the place with it, but uh, hopefully that'll help out. And my main thing is I want you to be able to do this and have as much power on your own as you can i don't unless you really trust the people that you're with a lot of people too many people complain about stuff not getting sales not getting this not getting that the social media people aren't working but there's people that do books that just do books that are really knocking it out the park and it hurts when i see people oh i went to this person and they were supposed to do this and that for me and they didn't it's like no you can do that now you can do that now there's so many ways to get to readers on social media and stuff and on the internet but people tend to stick to the one way or put all their hope into somebody else so get on stuff like book funnel go on facebook do the newsletter swap some of them you have to pay you might have to pay 35 dollars, 25 dollars. some of them might give you ten thousand newsletter signups so you might have to pay a hundred something dollars for those or more but those are legit people that want what you have the other thing about this the good thing about it is that these are people that want the style in which you have so if you if you have fantasy rpg style of manga and you go to a fantasy rpg or a fantasy young adult book sign up and you pay the 30 50 80 dollars or whatever the case may be and you get 5,000 emails you might get 50 60 people on there that rock with you for the rest of your career for the next couple of years and you get the stuff to them and you got them you don't ever see them you may not even see them on social media but they rock with what you got so 
give it a try. If you need questions answered or whatever, you can get up with me. I will gladly answer to answer any questions I can for you and do what I can to help. I try to make more of these, but sometimes I'm moving. But if you want to see something else, let me know. Uh, I've been doing it for a while now. Yeah, just let me know. So I'll holler at y'all later. Build your email list. You need it. You need it. Not, not, not this. I'm just going to hop out butt ass naked and, um, <laughs> and start trying to sell my stuff to people. And now I'm trying to look for my mouse so I can go to my other screen. Not this. I'm going to just jump out and do this. You need an email list before you start selling anything, before you get it out to people, before you be like, I'm going to do my Kickstarters and this and that. You need an email list. These are just a few options. Social media is not the only way. Social media is not the only way. Let those be your social media buddies. Let them be all that when it comes to and have fun over there. Do all that. But this is where you get to the people that want to read what you got because they love reading that particular style, like fantasy on this one. So again, needing help or anything, hit me up. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.